It is the first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will experience liftoff in the opener? Stay with us, we'll have it all for you coming up next on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Costa Rica versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And here's the starting 11 for Costa Rica. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the match is underway. Campbell, Anthony Contreras, and a good looking pass, determined defending, oh good vision, can they keep it out, and he clears it out of harm's way, already closing him down here, And winning it back. Kai Havertz. He's in behind. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Havertz. And Gnabry does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a great finish. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. He's found a pocket of space, but the danger averted for now. Goretzka, that's not a bad ball. On a time for composure on the ball. Celso Borges, great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Campbell, Torres, not much defensive cover there on the flank, 
a fine block. Leon Goretzka. Gnabry with it. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Kimmich. A really top-notch piece of defending. Campbell. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Well, Germany certainly haven't dominated the ball so far. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Goretzka Müller Good bit of pressing Goretzka And now Havertz That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances so the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, another day... And back in business after what was a dazzling first 45 from Germany. Will it be a repeat performance this half? Goretzka on a textbook interception Sané magnificent challenge to win it back Müller spot on with that tackle Anthony Contreras Contreras free kick awarded then by the referee and both hands on it good goalkeeping and into the last 30 minutes now Gerson Torres and the flag does go up must have been tight so making the substitution now substitution for the hosts leading the match number 13 Thomas Mueller to be replaced by number 14 Jamal Musayala Joshua Kimmich Gnabry with it He read the situation defensively and did his job. Into the final 20 minutes. What a shocking pass, really. Oh, a lovely ball. Leroy Zane is in. In it goes! He's made it a 
brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then the perfect finish from Sane. He really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. So on with the action, and I must say it's been a thorough masterclass from Germany so far, and you sense it's a question of how many. Campbell. Now this could be productive. And holding the ball up in a decent position. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. It is to be a throw-in. Celso Borges. Yeltsin Tejeda. Very quick thinking there. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Oh, great vision. And now can he keep calm? Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And there's the delivery. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And the final whistle, the big story here, Germany have prevailed. Stuart, your analysis. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, he might be young, but he plays with a maturity beyond his years, Leroy Zane. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today. And winning it back. Kai Havertz. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Now hold on, Stuart. They're in here. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Oh, a lovely ball. Leroy Zane is in. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Oh, great vision. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. 